Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Exfoliating the skin, looking younger, getting your skin to look fresh, bright, radiant and glowing and also giving your cheekbones a little lift, just a little push up. Okay, now guess what? Today I have a wonderful treatment for you. This is an old favorite of mine that I had a new ingredient to. Now this is amazing scrub. This scrub is gonna have your skin looking so much younger, years younger. It's gonna leave a bright glow because I'm using some vitamin C ingredient in this and on top of that, it's gonna clean those pores, getting rid of all the dead skin cells if you find you have a lot of pimples those are clogged pores and this is gonna go right in those pores clean them out close them up and leave you with radiant skin if you have acne blackhead it's gonna clear away all these stuff on your face to reveal bright glowing radiant skin so if you're interested in today's video continue watching for this recipe i'm gonna be using some rice and you can use whatever kind or type of rice you have now rice has been used for centuries by women for the skin rice will help to get rid of your wrinkles and fine lines rice will also help to tighten and tone and firm the skin not only that rice is a wonderful ingredient to use to get rid of your blackheads your whiteheads the clogged pores it's gonna just clean Clean your skin leaving it just bright radiant and supple our next ingredient is green tea and green tea is a wonderful anti-aging ingredient green tea is going to help to get rid of all those wrinkles on the skin green tea not only is going to get rid of wrinkles but it's going to help to firm the skin it's going to help to boost the collagen and the antioxidant and mineral in the green tea is going to have your skin looking just years younger in no time i'm also going to be using some orange peeled in this recipe and this orange peel is loaded with vitamin C this orange peel when mixed with this green tea and rice oh my goodness is gonna do such a wonderful number on your skin you are gonna be amazed of how bright and radiant and just fresh and young looking your skin is because this is vitamin C in full glory now what I'm gonna do with this orange peel and to dry your orange peel is pretty easy peel your orange put it in a paper bag put it away in your closet for a week or so and then you have dried orange peel now to make this wonderful vitamin C powder I'm gonna blend this orange peel and you'll see so this is the next ingredient our next ingredient we have two options for you we have some good old coconut oil and we have the wonderful grapeseed oil now if you have dry skin to normal skin you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna use some coconut oil if you have oily skin you're gonna reach for your grapeseed oil now both of these are beneficial to the skin grapeseed oil is very light it will not clog your pores it's gonna penetrate deep in the skin it's gonna moisturize the skin without leaving it greasy coconut oil is very moisturizing for normal to dry skin this is just good for you this is gonna moisturize your skin it's gonna have Help to plump your skin up it's gonna just get rid of all the flakiness from your skin leaving your skin just soft smooth and supple now you can also go half and off with this oil you can use a little coconut oil and a little grapeseed oil in this recipe and that would be great for normal skin so now that you know the wonderful benefits of all these ingredients let's now put them together for this recipe you're also gonna need a blender since we're gonna be blending both the orange peel and the rice right. now here we have the orange peel and to prepare the orange peel I will be blending so I'm gonna reach for my blender and I'm gonna blend this to a powder now if you do not have a blender and you have a grinder go ahead and use that or if you have none of these things there are many old-fashioned way in which you could get this to a powder tighten a cheesecloth and just pound it okay here it is and you don't have to add anything to this just blend it as dry as it is. 
Now take a look at this. This is the blended orange peel. And guys, the fragrance that is coming from this is so amazing. Just a wonderful, fresh, just pleasant smell. Now moving on to the rice. And here we have some rice. So I'm gonna place about a quarter cup of rice in the blender. Here's the rice, and we're gonna blend this rice to a powder. And this is our blended rice. So here are the ingredients. Here we have our rice and we also have our orange peel. We have our green tea. We also have some grapeseed oil and we have the good old coconut oil. Now I'm gonna make enough for three days. So I'm gonna be using three tablespoons of rice, therefore a tablespoon per day. So three tablespoons of rice. For orange peel, I'm going to be using three teaspoons of dried orange peel. It's three teaspoons of dried orange peel. And next, I'm going to mix the dry ingredients together. Just blend, make sure that the orange peel and the rice is fully blended together. And guys, the smell of this is so awesome. So just blend well. And this looks like it's about ready. Now for the leftover rice and orange peel, pour them in separate Ziploc or bag, close them tightly or a small jar with a tight cover, keep them in your refrigerator for up to about six months. They will be good to go. Now for our green tea, I'm using one tea bag and a tea bag of green tea is about a teaspoon of green tea. So if you're using loose leaf, just blend one teaspoon of green tea. We're pouring that in and we're gonna mix together again. Just blend the tea leaves in our rice and orange, just blend well. Now guys, this facial scrub is really wonderful and I wish you all could try this facial scrub. It's an amazing facial scrub. Now we're on to our oils. Remember if you have oily skin, reach for your grapeseed. If you have normal to dry skin, reach for your coconut oil. You can also choose to mix both together and that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna go half and half with this. Now you wanna slowly pour your oil in, so don't start off with too much. So first I'm gonna use one teaspoon of our coconut oil. And remember, the rice is gonna absorb the oil. And I'm gonna go with one teaspoon of our grapeseed oil to begin with. And then I'm gonna mix this together. Now just slowly mix it and take your time and work it in. Now if you find that it's too dry, that's when you're gonna add a little more. But to begin, just start off with the one teaspoon each. So just blend. And as you can see, right here for mine is good, so I do need a little more. So I'm gonna go in with another teaspoon of coconut oil and another teaspoon of grapeseed oil. So in this recipe, I'm using two teaspoons of grapeseed oil and two teaspoons of coconut oil, and that is more than enough. You don't want this to be too liquefied. You want it to be a little, you know, moist, but not too dry and not too soft. And this is a, oh my goodness, guys, guys. Mmm. This is amazing. Wow. And here you have it. This is your green tea orange facial scrub made of rice, green tea, dried orange peel, coconut oil, 
and grapeseed oil. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this awesome, this wonderful facial scrub. Now before you use this, you wanna start with clean skin. So you're gonna cleanse your face the way you normally do with your regular cleanser, and then you're gonna apply this. Do not pat dry. Just leave a little bit of the water on your skin, and then you apply your scrub. Now, this is best used in the shower since it could be a little messy. Personally, I like to just stand in the shower and exfoliate my face. So you're gonna dig in, and you're gonna take a little, rub it in your hands and you're just gonna exfoliate now exfoliate the skin in circular motion exfoliate round round lift lift round round lift lift and pay attention to your nose where you tend to have a lot of blackheads and whiteheads just exfoliate for about a minute don't forget your forehead, just lift, lift, round, lift. Don't forget the neck and the decollete, just go down, exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. Just exfoliate. You could use this on your lips too. If you have blackheads, whiteheads, pay attention to your nose right here where you tend to have a lot of whiteheads. Exfoliate. Now once you're done exfoliating the skin, it is now time to rinse your face. You're going to rinse with some warm water. Splash the warm water on your face and rinse the scrub off thoroughly. Once you're done, you're next gonna take some cold water and you're just gonna splash it on your face. That way you are basically closing up the pores you just opened by using the warm water. Now, after you're done using your scrub, you pat dry your face, you splash on your facial toner, and then you move on to some serum. You're gonna let the serum dry and then you apply your favorite moisturizer now when it comes on to this wonderful facial scrub for best result you need to use at least two to three times per week now if you have really rough dry looking skin this scrub is gonna do wonders for you use the scrub two to three times a week as I mentioned before and before you know it your dry skin is gonna be a bye-bye your skin is gonna be looking so soft so supple so fully moisturized and this combination is basically gonna have you looking years younger so i'm gonna rinse this off and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you my result after just one application so there you have it there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video just give it a thumbs up that way i know you really like the video and if you really like the video that much share the video on your social media this is what i'm so proud of and i want the world to see and give this particular facial scrub a try now if this was the first time watching guess what look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed if you want to know exactly when i I post the video click on the little bell at the side and that will give you a notification right away oh i have a show sunday chit chat every sunday 4 30 p.m eastern standard time and this show we just talk about the topic i answer your question we just you know interact with each other for half an hour so you don't want to miss sunday chit chat with chichi beauty thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye